Hey guys, what's up? It's Sherlyn with another new process video. Um, this process video would take about uh, almost 20 minutes, which is kind of crazy. I didn't think that I was filming like that much, but um, it took me a really, really long time to make this layout uh, just because I used so many, um, so much mixed media on this layout and um, I didn't really use, um, I think I used only like a little bit of, um, you know, the heat tool. Um, most of the stuff here, I just let it dry, um, like naturally. So um, it took more time to finish this layout. So um, you, saw me, you saw me in the beginning using the, uh, opening the uh, acrylic shapes from the Jelly Bean. It came in the June kit, um, from Flick Kit. And uh, the cut file, I already cut it and just uh, paste it on the, you can see that I kind of use um, one of the pattern papers and it's from the L Studio. And I just, you know, put it um, on the, on the layout. I can see me using some, starting using the mixed media stuff, and I use the shimmers color. I think it's some, um, I don't know what the name of the color is. It's something red. Um, you can see on my blog the name of the color because I did so many, like, um, <laughs> I I took so many pictures of this layout because I was like so in love with this layout when I was done. So. I think you have like 10 <laughs> pictures so you can see um, what colors I used. Now I'm using this really um, weird technique uh, that I tried on this layout. I just took um, this round uh, wood stick and I took a little bit of the um, model modeling paste and um, I I actually put the bundling paste together with the shimmer because I wanted to add it some texture so I mix it together and I just try to just apply, I apply it on the um, that stick and I just roll it over on my background just to give it a little bit of you know grunge uh, texture and I'm mixing more colors into it I'm putting in some pink a little bit and um, it was a nice way as well to use the acrylic shapes because they're transparent, you can't really see them. So once you put some color in, you can see that um, it's beginning to show its shape, its, um, its, um, blah, 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 its word. <laughs> and I think I used um, quite a lot, but I still have so many acrylic shapes that I don't really know what to do with. Like teacups and stuff like that. I think even though I do drink tea but I still don't I don't really know how to use it so I'm still thinking about it now you can see me using the Martha Stewart uh, um, acrylic um, paint just because I felt like I needed something like really bold like a really bold color like that really hot pink you can see that now you can you can start to see like the shapes of the um, cuff file and the acrylic shape so yeah I'm just kind of moving around I'm not thinking about any direction with this stick uh, I was just kind of like playing I felt like a kid again it was so much fun and just you know <laughs> I was like such a mess after that and you can see that I had a white nail polish and I was like thinking to myself why did I do that to myself why I just applied uh, a white nail polish and then I started painting. Why? <laughs> I always do this stuff like without thinking. That's my expertise. Um, I'm an expert in that. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm adding some few colors, some shades of pink. I'm putting in some modeling paste and um, I put in some white acrylic paint just to make it a little bit lighter because it was like too much like bold um so i just tried it to kind of wipe away the the boldness <laughs> of the layout um but just by trying to add some you know um, light pink here and there 
not all over the thing, but just here and there. Just wanted to kind of have that look of dirty, but still girly. And um, yeah. So I'm still kind of messing around with that stick. I was like, oh my god, what should I do? Now you can see me just building my 6x6 paper pad, and that's from the Better Together collection from Amy Tangerine. I really love her collections, they're so cute and they're so vibrant. They're so me. Um, so, yeah, I took the 6x6, and then I'm starting to fold um, like an inch inside just to make uh, a rosette. I'm making half a uh, rosette from each pattern paper. That will be actually the one that is going to be, um, um, they're going to be underneath my photo. So the photo will be raised, um, because the photo is the important thing here in this layout. Um, so yeah, so you can see me just using my, um, a bone tool, bone knife. Oh my god, I forgot how to call that. <laughs> And you can see me just uh, folding it to half after I finish with the accordion. And then, oh my god, yeah, the hot glue tool. I still don't know how to use that tool. I think I got burned in this um, process, I think, three times because it was like too close to my fingers. And I don't know if you know this, but I'm so clumsy with this stuff that, uh, you know, that you need to handle like really 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 gently and uh, I, yeah I'm not really good at this stuff so yeah so I really love those um, hot rosette I think they really match my photo and the whole layout itself I didn't really think about like if it would match or not I just love the colors and they, and they look vibrant and cute so I just just I picked the Two uh, first pattern papers that I thought that will suit the layout. I can see me playing with that tag. I'm not really sure what is gonna happen with that tag. I don't really remember what I did with it just because I was playing with it so much. Um, I can see me pulling out some embellishments from the kit. Um, it's from the Pink Fresh uh, Studio. We got the um, acrylic. I'm not sure if it's acrylic. I think it's more than transparent. Um, phrases which are really really cute you get I think 12 of those and I still have a lot of you um, I still have a lot of those in my stash so yeah now you can see me pulling out my doilies I'm so obsessed uh, oh, doily obsessed really um, I have like I think 1000 no 1000 is too much I think I have like 200 doilies and my god, they're super cute. They add like so many, I don't know, they add something to your layout. Every time you put some doily, it's just, I don't know. It's part of the finish, finishing touches that makes your layout pop a little bit more. I don't know, that's what I think. Uh, I can see me using, uh, you can't really see it, but uh, I use the um, transparent word, happy. From the Pink Fresh Studio. Now you can see me just playing out with the snippets from the L Studio. I didn't think that I would be using it. Oh yeah, I used um, <laughs> I used one of the labels um, just to add some small stuff. So while the um, background is kind of air drying, you can see me just playing around with this uh, <laughs> photo, just trying to add some embellishment um, here and there just just because I thought I wouldn't be you know adding any more embellishments on the background itself just because it was like too much already there's like cut file and there's more cut file and colors yeah <laughs> I could see me pulling out the dazzlers um, from shimmers as well I think it's the um, lilac lilac did I say it right I don't know um, so I'm putting it again on that stick and I'm just kind of going over again on the background and it gives it some kind of like um, shiny shiny texture to it I mean it doesn't really raise the layout but it does give it some kind of a, I don't know it shines 
it shines yeah and uh, you can't really see it but on the close-ups you would be able to see that it really shines through the color and you can't really see the color but you can see that it's shining and it's it's really a beautiful color um, in the future I hope I'll be purchasing more of this collection just because I love that I love the creamy and it's so cute um, I and then afterwards I splattered some few um, white ink droplets just to make it a little bit interesting you can see me just playing with it just to make the dirty background believable um, <laughs> yeah so playing around with that white ink nice um, what did I do next? what did I do? oh yeah I forgot to tell about that thick pen just because I have like so many it's like more 6 minutes of this video so I just let myself like talk a lot um, but you can go ahead and put it in mute if you just <laughs> can't hear me anymore uh, about the thick pen, the glue one I've never had one and I went into my local craft store and they sold and they were like standing there they were like the new product that they brought and I was like oh my god you know that's what I need right now because I, I'm dealing with so many small embellishments that I hate like using my big you know um, glue just to stick it on the layout and then get my finger sticky I just hate that so I was really happy that I found this pen it changed my life I didn't really think that it would make such a difference but it did um, like seriously I'm really happy now I can actually work with small embellishments because I I was like so lazy um, working with small embellishments and if I want to use those like for few months or something I would really throw them throw them away and that's a waste of money so I'm happy and the most important thing is that you can use it with sequins now you can see that I don't have a really a lot of sequins just because I hate using them um, because of the part of gluing it not because I don't love you know uh, using them or something just uh, I hate just putting it on the layout it takes so much time and it doesn't stick right and just falls so yeah I'm just happy I, I found that pen um, what more another thing uh, I forgot this I don't know if I said it in the last video but I recently got engaged so I'm really really happy um, yeah we've been together for almost for almost we've been together for more than four years and yeah he popped the question I think two weeks ago it was yeah, two weeks ago on Saturday we were on a boat and <laughs> and he just popped the question he couldn't you know um, stand or something um, just because they didn't allow um, people to stand while or they're on the boat so he just proposed while he, we were sitting and it was romantic and cute and I cried a little bit it was kind of shock I mean we were four years together but I didn't really expect it to, to happen like you know now now <laughs> but I'm happy so yay um, so you'll be seeing me like scrapbooking all of our photos because I think I took a lot of photos um, not from that moment but we took a lot of photos um, two weeks ago so yeah oh my god <laughs> I'm gonna be finishing the video like in three minutes so yay for you because you didn't have to hear me anymore <laughs> um, so you can see that I added some thread and on it I put the flare 24 7 and um, yeah so I'm just trying to I I'm picking some stickers from the sticker sheet that we got the pink ones I picked the pink ones just because it's just the color duh and you can see me putting it on the top right and that will be actually finishing 
uh, my layout. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!